welcome to another ride along with goggles and um, yeah once again something different <laughs> i i've never tried this uh i had this trailer for a long time the original version of it the uh, featherlight nascar hauler or race car hauler and um i never did use it i was trying to skin it and it was giving me grief and stuff and yeah, i kind of gave up on it and so today i was going to thought well I was looking at old uh, pictures of Ford LTL 9000s and I saw this uh, uh, Folgers racing team, uh, Jack Roush, Ford LTL for Mark Martin racing team back in the day. And I thought, man, that's slick. I'll uh, have to see if I make that. So I got the updated version of the trailer from Steam and it's got a new template, new layout. And it's uh, it makes sense and shows up properly in uh, Mod Studio 2 and everything works good. So here we are. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. You know, I mean, it's fairly close uh, to the original. I couldn't get the right font for some of the things. Like the number six is close. The Rush Racing is close. I couldn't find, you'd think I would have been able to find that online. No deal. Got the Folgers good, the racing team, and Mark Martin's signature on there. It's not the same as the one. His signature changed a bunch of times, but that one was one I could blow up and not lose too much detail. The Folgers, I had to completely redraw that by hand. Over, you know, just traced over top of the uh, original uh, that I found uh, an image of online, but I couldn't get the Roush Racing, unfortunately. I'm guessing they were in Concord, North Carolina back then. Anyway, um, let's get going. We got a uh, 32 Ford uh, five-window coupe high boy on here as our cargo. And we're in Sacramento, California. We're going to Carson City, Nevada with it, which is kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, let's jump in. Oh, shoot. New truck, and guess what I didn't do? I'll be back. Hang on. Okay, so we're all set here. We're all comfy, ready to go. And we got our lights on. Get the parking brake off. And uh, let's roll. So it's a 32 deuce, five window high boy. 32 deuce, that's redundant. It's a 32 uh, five window coupe. And, uh, oh shoot, I don't have a GPS going. How did that happen? I thought I put one in. Let me, uh, quick peek at the map, or do I have that little. No, I don't have the mod in. So I gotta go right. Yeah, find my way out of here. Okay. We should be able to get out of here, okay. Right? Left, left, left. Okay. And once we get on the highway, we're looking for Carson City. Turn right. Oh, we got Lori. Okay, that'll help. After 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Oh, we rolled right through that stop sign. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're right at the exit of the park almost. Kind of a weird uh, rotary with. It's a free for all in the middle. That's a pretty, pretty cool business park. Oh no, look at the signs hanging up in the air. Oh, now we don't know what the light is doing. We have no traffic light here. Oh man, I wonder if I have that longer yellow lights mod in here and it's doing it. Let's pause again real quick and go see. Hang on. Well, we're back, and uh, oh, all the traffic cleared off for some reason. Oh, there's some coming there. I'm gonna just go. Oh, they 
It didn't look like they were coming through anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, no longer yellow light mod or anything. Huh. What do I, I haven't seen that in quite a while. The uh, street signs hanging there in midair with no traffic lights. Pretty sure we go left up here. Another, so that guy just went whizzing through, so he must have had a green light. And this guy's waiting beside me, but I got a turning lane here. It'll be cool when this truck gets updated with the sleeper. Really looking forward to that because, you know, the image I was working on for the uh, truck. Oh, I should, uh, I can remember, I'll insert the uh, image in the video. Let's think about right here. <laughs> But uh, it's a bummer about the wheels. Yards, turn right. The wheels have that big dopey spot in the bottom of them. Oh, I wonder if it's a trailer causing this problem. I wonder. Oh man, I got my brakes turned down. I'm not very strong right now. Oh, there's lights ahead. Okay, good. East South Lake Tahoe. East. Oh, we can't go there anyway. Okay. Oh, red light. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these brakes are ridiculous. We'll just go and turn those up real quick. Uh, where was the brakes? Breaking intensity right here. I got to turn down a bit. We'll put it up there. All right. West Sacramento, right lane. Doesn't sound like us. Something here. Keep right. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the wheels are too bad. The rear wheels on this uh, trailer. You've got that sort of. I noticed with the packed Rotas <laughs> wheels in ETS, same thing. Where the bottom of the wheel rim looks like it's just all black inside. Uh, it looks really bad. So I'll have to find some wheels. Uh, there were 17 fives, unfortunately. Maybe I can find another trailer because you see the inside the wheel looks goofier than can be. I gotta put a little, I'm gonna put um, the number six and Mark Martin's signature on the back door too. Gotta do that. A few little glitches here and there. A few little glitch glitches in the uh, paint job too. This uh, rework of Sacramento was pretty epic. So I think I was going to mention early on the uh, with the load. So there's really cool loads. I didn't realize that about this trailer. 
but uh, it's got cool loads. There's like a there's a 58 Caddy. There's a 59 Cadillac. There's looks like a 53 or four Oldsmobile. Um, 66 Mustang Fastback. Uh, let's see what else. The Hot Rod, of course. Uh, 41 Ford. Looks like coupe with a blower on it. Everything total hot rod. And uh, oh shoot, nothing coming there. Um, yeah, some really neat cars. The one's a little confusing. They have um, one they're calling an early GTO, and in reality, what it looks like to me is an Australian Ford Falcon. Pretty convinced that's what it is. It's not a GTO. But um, anyway, pretty cool. corner that's why climb out of here. The, um, yeah, still working on the shade of gold. It looks a little dark in this view, but when you're outside, it's not bad. And the truck and the trailer both take paint differently, so I had to, uh, I gotta put it as a combo, because, uh, you know, why not? They both go together. They're not meant to it was a real life combination and they're not going to go with anything else so trying to get the truck to match the trailer was a bit of a dog and pony show but uh, and the red was different of course too so the red is the fixed color the gold is the color you can paint so I'll put the uh, gold uh, co codes in the uh, mod description when I put the skin out. And um, yeah, the red you won't have to worry about because I've taken care of that. Got a Cat 3406 uh, in here, which is quite appropriate for the truck. I couldn't quite see the hood of the truck, the top of the hood in the video, in the uh, picture. I have two pictures; they're both really fuzzy. Oh shoot! They're uh, difficult to see any detail in. You can't get the. Uh, they don't blow up well, and they're not profile pictures. Both of them are from front quarter, and uh, one from one side, one from the other, and uh, it's not ideal. So a lot of wing in it. And of course the trailer and the truck are in a different scale, so the uh, doing the stripe line up thingy was a bit of a chore, but I got it pretty darn good. I, I managed to scale the trailer to match the truck. I haven't been on this road in a long time.
Well, there goes a the bus. He was probably holding folks up. Oh, there's a modern Mustang, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know what year it would be. 2018, maybe. Something like that. Um, what else was in there? Oh, uh, some vintage cars, too. Like a, <laughs> They call it a wedding car. Looks like a 1920s Rolls Royce or something. Who knows? There's. Uh, it doesn't show a picture, but the description is NASCAR. And uh, so NASCAR racer, which is logical load, but at the weight of 45,000 pounds, we must have an awful. We must have the guy whole the guy's whole garage in here, not just the <laughs> the car he's selling. Whatever's going on with it, why it's moving to Carson City. I sure we're taking everything the guy owns because uh, a 32 five window coupe might weigh, I don't know what, 2,800 pounds max. Fenderless, like it's a high boy. So think of Mil Milner's coupe on American Graffiti, same deal. Except he had little cycle fenders on his on the front and, you know, an excuse of a fender over the back tires, but the one in the image here has nothing. Straight high boy. Um, yeah. But five window, a 32 five window coupe, man. What's not to like? You know, I like the idea of a five window because I'm kind of tall. If I was ever to build one, I'd want to be able to put the seat back and I'd probably be looking out the... The little side window. Because a three window coupe, uh, it's got a, a panel right there, so you know, I'd be having the seat back and I'd be looking, turn my head out and I'd be looking into, oh, I don't even see it in this truck. I got, I can put my seat back further in this one. Normally I have the seat back and I look out the window and I'm looking at the uh, seat pillar. scenic along here too bad we got that truck on our outside missing the view oh speed limit just went up Nevada. So we're taking this to the Amazon warehouse, so I guess uh, Jeff Bezos spot it. Bezos? Bezos? Oh. Yeah, this is an awesome truck. Can't wait for the uh, future updates, man. But uh, it's definitely in the works, so. hard for or look at the signs I guess and Carson City oh we got an exit in a mile Let me get over here Keep right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. so if you have the uh, original version of this right NASCAR hauler 
this skin's not going to work on it. You'll have to get the update, but I'll put a link to the updated version in the, uh, I'll put a link to the update in the, uh, video. And then, like I say, the, the update is, man, his shoulder's above where the, uh, original was. It's got options, like in the original, there's windows in the, in the side, up front, you know, in the front corner of the trailer, and they're optional now. So I didn't put them on because they don't look right on the, this trailer. And um, it has a few other options you can add, and you can do wheels and tires if you had them. I don't have anything, I don't have any 17.5s. Oh! Yeah, if anybody knows of a wheel mod, they'll get you optional 17.5s, that'd be cool. I did a quick look, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really go at it for half an hour trying to find them. I have the Alcoa wheel pack from Steam. I have Smarties. Got the 24.5s, which obviously there's not going to be a 17 and a half in there. Um, Smarties. So, gonna have to come up with something. There's another uh, NASCAR hauler I want to do too. I uh, just want to see how this one came out. This is actually the harder one to do with all those little stripes and stuff. And the fenders, the front fenders, once again, quite a challenge. Yeah, I'm still not quite done getting them to line up and then... Well, long story short, what I did is I was going to make the... I was going to make... Uh, I was going to paint the gold and leave the red part up to the end user. But I couldn't uh, get a gold in uh, paint.net that looked worth a darn. It just looked like pale yellow paint. Didn't look like gold at all. Any of them. I tried probably 10. And uh, so I ended up, I inverted the selections. So you got to kind of cut and paste, uh, cut out, and uh, invert the colors. And that kind of makes a raggedy edge on some of your lines and stuff, so i got to go over the front fenders again and sharpen up the lines on them where there's any curves and do a little work where one of the stripes meets the body. It's It's got a little kink in it. But this way, by me picking the red, and then uh, you can do a lot better job with the gold with the game's uh, paint palette than uh, paint.net's. She's awful quiet. Right. Oh, keep right. Good. Did the right thing. This is a nice change, uh, all the updates here. That ride, that ride in from Sacramento and... Keep rising. After 15 yards, turn right. Or is Amazon right there? Right. I'd say we're there. Uh-oh. Oh man, I never did get that gear going on here? Do a little construction here. So we're going to have to go way out into the oncoming lane. No traffic there. It's a dead end. That's convenient. Turn right. You have reached your destination. Get that whole trailer past the gate. Yeah, looks good. 
Oh, there's, see, look at that. Own one, see one. So there's, uh, those trailers have the window in the front. And that kind of messes up your scripting stuff. Anyway, uh, let's see where they want us to put it. Right here. All right. The gold looks good if you get in the right uh, angle. The sun's just overhead right now, which is kind of unfortunate. When you get at the, a good angle, it uh, it looks really nice. It just looks kind of dark right now. When you get the sun going on at it, you see on the door, like that's really the color of gold it is. And the trailer's got a really nice color. Oh, oh, excuse me, color of gold. You can see in the shade there. But then when you get around here, it just looks like, oh man, it's kind of mustardy dark. Oh, we're maybe, maybe not going to get this. Uh, let's see. Looking promising, I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to do a pull-up, darn. Or we could just... We got the door open. I guess uh, we got it. You know what, eh? We should really... What we got to do is... <laughs> see how far ahead we can park. That would be a little more realistic so we can get the ramp down on the trailer. We'll stop as soon as the uh, beeper goes off. Or the dinghy turns... The, the thing turns green. As soon as that happens, we'll stop it. Give them a chance to get the ramp down. I have to put, get those boxes out of the way. Oops. Okay, no. Boxes are in the way still. <laughs> Alrighty. I have to deal with it. Oh, I gotta see. I didn't even check to see what the uh, what it pays. Oh, it's nice, excellent, very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, gonna have fun with this. Uh, see, there's the color of gold, and the trailer too. Yeah, looks quite nice. And that Folgers, like I say, I had to do that because uh, when I blew it up, it looked pretty crappy. So I had to go and outline that and fill that whole thing from scratch and then same same with the coffee the emblem there the Columbian Mountains I guess it is or wherever um, I had to uh, make that thing from scratch too because it didn't blow up any good it's a it's a cutout uh, so the red is what I I painted and the gold just gets painted by you and uh, yeah it'll work back here Oh, I was in Texas. <laughs> you see the plates? I think the trucks. Oh, it's got a back plate on it. It's on the other side. It's Texas plate on the truck too. Anyway, uh, thanks for following along, guys, and uh, I'll uh, put links to everything in the video, and uh, we'll catch you later. Take care, and bye for now.